Hey everyone, uh, today we have uh, Saurabh along with me uh, for mock interview. He is having around two years of experience. Hi Saurabh. Yeah, hi. Yeah, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, this is Saurabh here. I have done my graduation in 2021 and I am having around two years of experience in IT industry. XYZ is my current company and I'm current, currently working on e-commerce space. Okay, uh, maybe uh, two years back I joined this company, then usually involved in test case creation, updation, execution, at the time of feature testing, regression testing during the sprint, and I do automation also to automate any test case. Firstly, I review manual test cases and merge them if required, and uh, I'm also involved in analyzing and publishing the automation result, and uh, uh, I am also involved in all ceremony like uh, daily sprint meeting like this uh, and uh, if you talk about my tools and technology i am having the basic knowledge uh, how to write test case and pretty much knowledge about jira tool and uh, i know how to create automation framework from very sketch and uh, i have some exposure on maven apache poi and right now i'm learning also some backend testing like uh, sql and uh, api and apart from this, uh, for education purpose, we are using Jenkins. Okay. Uh, great. Okay. Um, shall we start? So you have uh, experience in both manual as well as in automation, right? Actually, yeah, ma'am. I am uh, in automation. I'm totally involved in automation. Okay. But you have idea of how or, uh, manual testing will be done, right? Yes, I have. Okay. But can you tell me... Um, how do you handle the end-to-end -end test case? I mean, end-to-end -end testing, basically, in your project? Actually, ma'am, end-to-end testing? End-to-end -end testing. End-to-end uh, -end testing, ma'am, actually... Uh, actually, okay. right now, no I'm problem. not no able problem. to recall. Okay. So, end-to-end -end testing is basically... Suppose you are, uh, once the particular module is done, so then unit testing will be performed, right? So after yeah, another it... module is ready, so then the integration testing is performed between those two modules. Okay, once the overall flow of the system is ready, that is when end-to-end -end testing will be performed. Okay. Uh, after integration testing, yeah? Yeah, it, it is something which is done after the integration testing. Okay. Um, so, can you uh, explain me the difference between functional and non-functional testing? Actually, ma'am, functional testing uh, like uh, unit testing, integration testing, and system testing is like a uh, functional testing, GUI testing. In non-functional testing, GUI testing, uh, like uh, load testing, stress testing, volume testing, this these are coming uh, non-functional testing. And, so uh, these are yeah. Continue, yeah, yeah, and load testing is done by J meter or load runner tool. And if you talk about uh, non-functional, yeah, functional testing is uh, like we are testing functional testing, the system testing. We are totally involved in system testing. Right. So basically, in the functional testing, we will concentrate on the major functionalities of the application. Right. But in case yes. of uh, non-functional testing, we concentrate on other aspects of the application, like performance testing, or it could be security testing, as you said. That yeah, is correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you tell me, uh, what is the defect life cycle and how it yeah, actually it's... goes through? Yeah. A defect. Uh, when whenever uh, we found any defect, then first we assign to developer and developer uh, check the condition. Like uh, if the uh, any uh, any other uh, tester is uh, assigned to same bug, then we say that bug is duplicate. And if if the that is not bug, it is functionality of the application. Then he say it is. Uh, not a bug, uh, then he is rejected that bug. And if the bug bug is uh, in if we bug is the if bug is the like uh, 
if bug is sure that is bug then he check the priority and severity then after agar if priority is high and severity will be high then he immediate he fix if the severity is uh, priority is low then he uh, say yeah i will fix the after after the after his print i will fix that bug yeah so once after it is fixed we will have to retest it but ha uh, yes yes and we one... uh, retest again if the uh, if if uh, uh, bug is fixed then we verify and validate and close the bug what if if it still exists sorry if the bug still exists so then what you will do then again we send to the uh, send to developer then again life cycle will be start again yeah it will be reopened yeah yes yes okay um can you tell me how do you perform or when do you perform regression testing and why it is important we, uh, whenever uh, we for, uh, whenever any new build is come then first thing we do is smoke testing after that we do regression testing for regression testing we uh, we check the for new functionality or update our previous functionality is uh, working fine or not that's why we are doing regression testing in in regression testing we check the overall functionality of the application and it is important yeah why it is important In in regression testing, we check the overall functionality. Yeah. So uh, with the introduction of the new uh, code or new module, that should not break yes. the existing functionality. So to validate that, we perform. It is fine. Uh, so the importance yes. is uh, it is very much important because there are uh, in real time there will be lot of other people using the application. Okay, if existing functionality breaks, so that will be a uh, another drawback, right? So the, to overcome that, we will perform regression testing, and it is important. Okay. Um, can you uh, explain me the difference between TDD and BDD? I think you have worked on both BDD and TDD, right? Actually, yeah, test and uh, TDD is uh, stand for test next next to the generation. And test ng is our, we are using for execution purpose also. Test ng have some annotation like uh, before suit, before test, and like before suit, before test, before class, and uh, uh, after uh, uh, test, after test, after uh, after method, after class, after test, after suit, like this. Uh, test ng also provide reporting. And uh, if you talk about BDD, then B BDD is stand for behavior driven development. And BDD is same like uh, it is uh, like English, given then uh, when like this. And in the English, uh, up in in behind the English, we are writing code. And also uh, in TDD, TDD, sorry, BDD have background keyword examples. And uh, in sample jerkin language, behind the English, we are writing code. And okay. if if you we are using BDD, then also non technical person also can understand what the uh, behind it, yeah, like uh, also manager and product owner also can. Uh, so adding because to that, only yeah, simple. yeah. So adding to that, uh, so in this case, first we will write the test cases to fail, right? And then yes, yes, yes. we'll make it pass, and then we will refactor. Uh, so that is how uh, both of them are designed. Okay. Uh, yes, can you uh, both are designed. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me, um, how do you handle frames in Selenium? Actually, yeah. Uh, in Selenium, uh, Selenium provide like driver dot switch to. Uh, frame and frame have a different like you uh, wanted to indexing also and uh, if web element and uh, web element and class name or ID you can perform diver dot switch to frame by using this we can achieve yeah 
a frame okay. sorry. and also a uh, driver parent if you want to come in parent class then driver dot switch to parent like this switch to default okay right uh, so one is via uh, in and then the name of the uh, frame or id of the frame yes okay um so i will share with you a snippet of java code um, or selenium code i you can you just explain me what does it mean i uh, just paste it in the ah. chat yeah i have shared Here we are using contents method and create them. Here we are using contents. Uh, uh, contents it mean uh, uh, in DOM page uh, if the data name uh, data data names uh, any element is present uh, like data names. Data, then it will uh, uh, actually my English is yeah, not correct. good. Correct. No problem. No. Problem. Uh, yeah. So it uh, how many data is uh, like uh, data? It means jitne uh, so, data okay. se related yeah. honge, wo aa jayenge, uh, Okay. Uh, so let's make it simple. So web element is where we are storing. Uh, sample is the uh, uh, you know, uh, it is we are we are using the sample to store the web element, and we are finding the element using the path, right? And then, so here we want to see, we want to search for the text which is having data. So contains text yes, will yes. find the uh, text dynamic, which is having dynamic. data. Yeah. yeah. Actually, contents we are using for dynamic element. If the some some data is static and some is dynamic, then we are using contents method. Okay. Contents. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. You cannot tell me what is fail element exception. Have you ever faced it? On this. Fail element reference or stale element exception. Yeah, actually, whenever uh, while while execution our program, if uh, if if we are holding any variable, uh, like we are ho holding any x path, if the while execution our uh, uh, our page is refreshed, then we are facing stale element, like old element. If for overcome this problem, yeah, for overcome this problem, we can use refresh. Uh, uh, Refresh, neglect to refresh like this, then we can uh, achieve. Still, element. Yeah. Yeah. Old expat, like you can say old expat, then we is still element. Still element come when the uh, any page is refreshed while execution, then hmm. that, that time. Okay. 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 Uh, so you have uh, knowledge about APM as well, right? So can you explain me what is APM yeah, and APM sum? Actually, uh, in APM, I have little bit knowledge. I, I have only knowledge, uh, not I have experience in APM, but I have mentioned in my resume. For, yeah. Okay. APM, actually, APM configuration is tough, but uh, it is, uh, if configuration is uh, have done, then it is easy, easy to use. Like Selenium also have send keys method like the same as Selenium, but configuration is tough. Like first we have to download Android Studio, then we have to uh, 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 set the environment path like uh, ADB, uh, SDK path tools, bin like this. We have to uh, environment and for uh, for Android uh, for APM we have to uh, download APM server, APM inspector for inspecting and. Uh, uh, APM server, Node.js also there for uh, and uh, and also for uh, execution. First, we have to mention uh, uh, SDK, uh, APK path, whatever uh, one to execute. Uh, first, we set the app path and in, uh, 
device name UDID for uh, yeah, like this. Yeah. So basically, how you have to tell is first you have to tell like APM is basically used for mobile automation. Okay, so using that, we can automate both Android and iOS. And then you can see, uh, say whatever uh, that knowledge you have. It, it's a basic understanding, whatever you have, you can talk about it. Okay. Um, can you explain me uh, the different weights that are available in Selenium? Actually. Yeah, uh, so dynamic and static. Uh, actually, static weight is, weight, weight is the Java and dynamic weight, like implicit weight, explicit weight, fluent weight, and both are dynamic weight. And if in if you talk about implicit weight, if you set uh, with driver, then it will wait for whole element. Like if you uh, uh, send uh, 10 seconds, then it will wait 10 seconds after that, throw no such element exception. Implicit weight, it is uh, explicit weight is a uh, weight for part particular element like until expected condition is met, then like this. So, to add, uh, so what you can also tell us suppose in case of implicit weight, uh, you have set it for 10 seconds, let's say, but if it finds the yes. element like around five seconds so it will continue the yes. execution but in case of explicit weight it is a hard weight so it will wait until uh, the 10 complete 10 seconds is complete right. so that is one thing uh, which you can add okay now can you tell me how to set the priorities in uh, test ng uh... Uh, priority hmm. uh, in in uh, uh, above of at the rate test annotation at the rate test we pass the priority uh, equal zero and uh, priority uh, one two uh, yeah like this we are uh, prioritized. Uh, so, can you tell me the difference between the soft assertion and hard assertion? Yeah, actually, uh, soft assertion. Uh, if we uh, if we want to, uh, if any exception is occur, then we want to uh, execute our test after execution. Our uh, uh, after execution uh, exception is throwing like a uh, soft assertion. In soft assertion, we are. Uh, like uh, uh, if you want to test any login page, uh, like uh, login page, soft assertion. Wait, wait, I need a time. Uh, soft assertion. Uh, while execution, uh, if if uh, any exception is occur, then our execution will not stop. After the execution, our exception is uh, throw. And uh, in hard assertion, if any exception is occur, then our program uh, stop immediate it, it will throw exception and in soft assertion uh, after the execution throw the exception and uh, we are using uh, in my framework i have used hard assertion because we don't need to if the exception is occurred then our ex, ex, our program will be executed Uh, tell me in test ng um, how do you disable particular test cases from running enable is equal to false in the at the test uh, in the enable is equal to false then now uh, that test cases will be not executed oh, um so so after this i just want to uh, know that what is your understanding on what is the difference between the manual testing and automation testing according to you? Yeah, actually, uh, auto, in automation testing, uh, uh, if we, uh, in uh, actually automation testing are using, uh, using for re uh, repetitive uh, task like regression testing, we are, uh, And manual testing is done by any human. And also in automation, there is uh, no, like uh, 
know any uh, mistake in if accuracy you mean to say so anything else that you can relate yeah ma'am uh, actually Automation testing can be used to test uh, different types of software application like uh, uh, mobile application, desktop application, and API. It's, uh, we are using automation for repetitive and time consuming test cases such as regression testing and smoke testing. Yeah. Uh, aims to improve testing efficiency, okay, accuracy, and speed, speed by automating the like increase the test coverage and re reduce women's resource reusability purpose also we are speed up actually okay actually uh, i haven't one... press up any concept and uh, right now i'm going to and that's okay Fine. Uh, so one last question. So do you have uh, experience into uh, SQL? Uh, actually, I was joined, then I have worked on SQL. Right now, I, I have only, uh, I have write a code for SQL. And, <laughs> and only I have some uh, like a query I have knowledge of, uh, apart from that, I am not. Okay, no problem. Uh, just give like a try. Star form and... uh, just a basic query. Uh, can you write a query uh, to take a particular user's address? So imagine there is a customer table. So for that table, I want to update the address of a particular customer whose uh, ID is 5. Actually, uh, I repeat again, ma'am. Uh, I didn't understand. Update the particular user's address whose ID is five. Uh, like select star from a table name and uh, mm -hmm. where ID is equal to five, like this. No, if you want to update, so what you have to say is update table table name and then you have to say that set the address okay set the address of this particular uh, uh, to the updated one okay where the customer id is high suppose say if i want to update uh, the, in this case how i can write it update customer okay and then set address to new address whatever you can say where is the condition where is the clause where you have to put the customer id Yes. Okay. So this is how you can write. So hope uh, we have covered uh, most of the questions. So fine. Um, coming to uh, you know how we can improve is one is brush up all the concepts. Okay. Uh, before you attend, and then uh, yeah. So just yeah, just make sure basic. Uh, understanding of a particular suppose if they even ask you uh, some complicated like even if it is like APM or something so just tell them what is actually uh, it is about and then start explaining what you know so that helps uh, them to understand uh, the interviewer to understand what actually you know if if you doesn't know what is APM so then that would be a uh, again a different uh, story so that's the reason uh, so just uh, make sure that you no before you attend yeah yes sure. yeah and thanks a lot so for giving me your valuable time no thanks problem. a lot no problem so um so yeah that's all uh, thank you